Testing one, two, testing one, two. All right, sounds like we're good in the chat. Sounds like we're good in the chat. Let's get it in, baby. You already know what it is. Get ready for the spring practice. Getting ready to jump off, baby. And we already know who's in the building. Big Warren Sapp. Man, I'm happy to see this. Y'all go ahead, get up in here, get in the chat. Let me know where you're checking in from, how you're checking in. We're going to go over this Well Off Media video that just dropped. We're going to do a reaction, reaction. And we're going to talk about Warren Sapp officially being in Colorado doing this thing. Bouncing around, getting busy. Also, we got big George Hageman. He's joining too, coming over from IMG Academy. Worked with a lot of prospects out there, including uh, Jordan Seaton. Worked closely with him and a lot of other guys, former NFLer also with Coach Prime, former teammate of his. So they added some additions to the offensive and defensive line. I'm thinking Hagerman would be working closely with Coach Load Hope. So he got him an assistant. Coach Sal looked like he had him an assistant with Coach Sapp. If Coach Sal is there, if not, look like Coach Sapp might have that defensive line along with him an assistant or two. So that's interesting to see. Let me know where y'all checking in from. Happy Easter. Oh, now. PN21 Productions, what's happening? Joanna Williams, what's up? Hey, y'all know any businesses or any clothing lines or products of people who have products who want to get their promotions on? Tell them to holler at me. Inbox me on Big Dog Chico underscore uh, Big Dog underscore Chico on Instagram. Shout out to the pregame show. Also, they posted Coach Sap is officially there. So we're going to check this out. Also, Coach Prime. Um, commenting on Coach Prime on Coach Sapp's post. Also, we got Florida up in here, Detroit in here. Oh, now Happy Easter! Go ahead, check in. Let's check out this video while you guys are checking in. We'll check out the video. You understand me? Let's go. Shout the buck. So basically, let's see what's happening right here, man. We're gonna probably gonna check out this whole video. So I have no idea what's going on. I saw no results. I still woke up and chased them. They told me to find myself. Instead, I want to find a way. Oh, Saken. Ho. <laughs> Let's go. That's, that's little Dion right there. That's hard. I hear you, Trevor, with the Buffalo Soldier playing in the background. Y'all let me know if everything's good with the audio and everything so we can get to it, baby. I'm going to check out right quick on this side. If you haven't checked out all the channels yet, check out all the channels and subscribe right now. Let's go. <laughs> Galveston, Texas in the building. STL in the building, St. Louis. Coach Prime going to mess around and resurrect Reggie White. <laughs> Cali checking in. Y'all already know how we doing, baby. Let's go. Check in, get live. It's time to get live. It's time to represent. Let me get my camera going. What happened to my camera? My bad. I think I took myself off. All right, we'll be back in a second. Let's go. Let's see what Coach Sapp said. Hold on. Big Coach George right back there. Man, we got some big boy dishes going on in Colorado right now. Shout out to Coach Pat Shermer, Coach Brett, and the whole staff. But you got some big boys on that offensive and defensive line. I ain't talking about just players. I'm talking about the coaches, too. You feel me? Let's go. I 
Jets Jets. Jets, I'm getting the vibe right in the morning. Coach Prime having the music playing, stuff like that. Let's get the vibe right in the mornings, dog. Let's... Easter, 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 Easter is a Christian holiday. Yeah. Easter is a Christian holiday that celebrates the resurrection of Jesus Christ and wiping away of sin. Man, Coach Prime is giving a lesson now, dog. Y'all don't know this. Y'all not now you know this. The most important day in our faith and our uh, belief and religions and stuff like that. I'm not here to preach to you, wow, but I could if I really wanted to. Wow, fresh no Texas up in here. Can I get a man? See, we celebrate a lot of things. We don't even know the meaning of. You got to start understanding what you're into, understanding what you're not, understanding what it is. Okay, Traditions and religious rituals for Easter vary among denominations and across the globe. Yep. But many Christians observe the holiday through church services and prayers. I was having a good conversation with our coordinators today about it. Pat, tell them what you did. So I went to uh, Red Rocks this morning, and they had a uh, sunrise Easter celebration, which was amazing. It's the... I don't know, almost the 80th time they've done it. So I recommend next year everybody goes. It was just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah, That was that coach on the other side. As coach, you 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 got to, if you really want to understand Easter, you got to go to a black church at least once. You got to go to an Easter at a black church, and you got to go to a black field at least once. So you'll understand. Because probably killing me. But he's so right, though, dog. Let me know in the chat what y'all thinking about. He's so right, though. You got to experience a black Easter, how, how we come dressed to impress in the latest fashions. You got to experience that. It's something different. And uh, hold on, let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this. And our culture and how it gets that. Now. What else was the tradition for Easter? Who had, who had the little plastic helmet in uh, the little Easter basket? The little plastic helmet in the Easter basket. Uh, somebody said block party? Easter speech. Easter speech. We had the Easter parade, right? Okay, there's most of the people don't celebrate Easter. What's your, what's today means to you guys that don't celebrate today or Easter? Anybody? Everybody ain't a Christian, okay? Here you go. Family. Like just having a dinner with family. We like that. So we you don't have to be a Christian um to be accepted, to be liked, to be loved. I want you to be unapologetically you, and we're gonna love you regardless. Right. So don't be scared to step up and say something about whatever religion you're practicing. Anybody else that's not Christian and don't represent, <laughs> don't celebrate Easter, but you celebrate somebody else. What about you, Cam? I celebrate Easter. Okay, anybody? Gotcha. Anybody else? Any, any, anything happened over the break that you want to share besides me getting lost in uh, Dominican? I got lost. I did. I got real good. I went jogging, and it was a steep hill, and I was not going to take that hill. Back. Y'all saw the video of Coach Prime getting lost. So I made the decision to cut around the golf course. When I cut around the golf course, I tried to climb back up these rocks. Oh, Coach Prime, you know you could drop your pen on your cell phone, right? Just drop your pen, drop your location, send it to Darius. He could have came and got you, but I don't know. <laughs> that was dope. Feet Funkerson, what's happening out there, baby? And when I started climbing up the rock, I looked up and I was in somebody's backyard. <laughs> Black man in somebody's backyard, this ain't going to go down too good. Let me jump back down for the skin wrong. You know, so I jumped back down, walked the way around, and I caught some of the uh, people that was working 
It was the resort. I called the golf cart as far as I could. My back was tight. I'm walking like this. Foot hurt. And the medication. And it just it just kept going. It kept me worse and worse. And then I'm seeing this little dude in the motorcycle looking at me. And I'm looking at him. I'm like, Oh yeah, Coach Rob, Coach Rob said, "Hey, he either he either wait me out or I'm gonna wait him out." <laughs> He's gonna go, if going down. It's gonna get over. No. I ain't having no jury though, so I don't know what he would have wanted. He would have robbed me for rehearsals. <laughs> I ain't have on no jury, so I don't know what he would have wanted. He would have been robbing me for rehearsal. <laughs> Practice. But then, uh, what up? I, I text him. Please, please. Oh yeah, there he is. You over there on your left. I think Darius and Darius say today. Darius came and picked up from the golf court. I didn't I knew I wasn't gonna take Bucky because Bucky wasn't gonna come on time and be preoccupied. Yeah. So Darius came right to us and got got the shit. Anybody else. But I, I, I don't know how you get lost in the subdivision. I really don't. But I did. I actually accomplished that task. And now, you know I'm not technology savvy, so Darius like, give me your uh, location. I was like, no, what's that? Anybody, anything happen over the break? Come on, man. Who? Kevin, what you got? I got your book. You got my book? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I had an audio book. And I was trying to go to sleep. I appreciate that. You knew if they need anything. You used to be him? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. What you mean you think so? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, that ain't no used to be him. All right, what's your name? Today. Oh, no, I took it back. Right okay. Well, they know next time she's telling how it picks up. I serve you as your new director of leadership and engagement. I mean, over. Oh, baby. New director of leadership and engagement. Over, above, and beyond. Great job and position for him. Uh, Big George, go give us a couple words, George. Tell what you're doing while you're here. Big fella, like he can open up some holes. Boy, goodness gracious. Uh, so, guys, I'm, I am fortunate enough to be able to serve you as your new director of leadership and engagement. New director of leadership and engagement. I need to call that Coach Prime or staff or someone to get, like, some clarification on some of these roles that some of these guys have because I'm sure that a lot of these roles and positions have been opened up and created for uh, these certain – uh, guys who have these certain credentials that Coach Prime wanted to bring in on the staff. So a guy like Big George who has the credentials, background, NFL, coaching, and so on, uh, player development, he can help somehow, some way with these guys in this team. Uh, and that's why he's in the position that he's in. He can't probably couldn't necessarily bring him on as an offensive line assistant. He might have other ones, but he could bring him in the house and get him in the fold some way. All we want to do is just bring in a lot of character guys around these young players who they can learn from uh, constantly. Here we go. There's three things I want y'all to know. Everybody say this with me. Say everything. Everything. No, no, say it like you honestly mean it. Say everything. Everything. Impacts. Impacts. Everything. Everything. Let's say it. E-I-E. Everything impacts everything. Is that right? Hold up. E-E-E. -E. That's E-I-M, right? <laughs> Everything's impacting everything. Let's go. <laughs> like we honestly believe it because it's true. Everything, everything. impacts impact. everything. everything. So from here on out, that's how we will operate. We want to operate from a mental standpoint, understanding that everything impacts everything. Does everybody got that? Yes, sir. I'm looking forward to meeting with each and every last one of you. My office is on the fourth floor. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. I told you. Did I tell you? I told you. Coach Prime just came up there and said he's going to impact the offensive line as well. Played in the league. Look at that. Thank you, Dad. I told you. Just have him around. See, you got, you got this position, but he can also come out there and help as an assistant. <laughs> Very valuable, too. He's going to impact the offensive line as well. He played in the league. I love him life, and he's uh Played in the league. I love him life, and he is uh Let me pull up these captions right quick. Different. And I know it's hard for you all and a lot of little things that you may not be selling in. Just take it to him as well. We got a wonderful support staff for you. You got to utilize it. There's no reason for you guys to go off the deep end when you got all this support. Uh, another guy, I don't know if you know him or not, but he's all right. He said no need for you to go off the deep end when you have all this support. Coach Cheney's there who works with player development. 
You got Coach Riz there in uh, recruiting. Coach Corey, his whole staff. Then you got Coach Hageman. Hey, man, no need for y'all to go off the deep end. I remember coming out of uh, college and uh, old coach had to come back and do the same thing. Uh, shout out to Coach Jim Hilliard, or RIP Coach Jim Hilliard. But he had to come back and do the same thing and help us with some player development and things like that. But now these positions are common, or at least being created by Coach Prime. <laughs> Jacket, but he ain't vibe. You feel me? But jump. Matter of fact, I met the Joker talking jump to me. That's how we met talking jump to me. I ain't gonna tell you what we met at, but he's scared. <laughs> oh, don't do it like that. You tell you that. Come on up, a big fella. I'll definitely tell you what he might be. Not here. <laughs> not here. So, so, it's, so it's senior quality control analyst. It's a mouth. Senior quality control analyst. Coach Prime Boy. I'm talking about, dog, you got to find your way in and around things, dog. You know what I'm saying? I need to have an interview with Coach Prime coming up next. I would love to to get his uh, insight on him, his understanding on uh, bringing in these different positions so that you can have these guys around the program and you know that them just being around the program, they have so much um, knowledge just oozing off of them that it can easily get dripped onto a player just by getting close to him and talking to him, dog. You know what I mean? So, hey, come on, man. That's why I was trying to tell a lot of people back back home. When I was well, – you know what? Let me go ahead. I fool and you'll hear me before you see me most of the time, but you hear me before you see me most of the time. What we're going to do is, big fellas, stance alignment and assignment. That's stance alignment and assignment. Stance alignment and assignment. Stance alignment and assignment. Got to have those things, dog. We're going to start. We're going to pour concrete because you know how I like We're going to start. We're going to pour concrete. Pour concrete. Lay the foundation. That's nice stuff. And we build a mansion here. So that's why I'm here to help you build your mansion and foundation. Mm -hmm. Stand some line. Not here. <laughs> Not here. So it's, so it's senior quality control analyst. It's a mouthful. And you'll hear me before you see me most of the time. But what we're going to do is, big fellas, stand some line and assign Senior quality control analyst, stance alignment and assignment. Y'all write that down. Put it in your pocket. All right. Let's go. That's where we're going to start. We're going to pull concrete because you know I like nice stuff. And we build a mansion here. So that's why I'm here to help you build your mansion. And if I miss anything you need, come see me. I'm in 416. <laughs> <laughs> what we made it? Say again? What we made it? Coach Wild, man. <laughs> it's an adult establishment. Five dollars in the walk. That's all over. He was in college, right? Yeah, I was leaving the University of Miami. He was definitely in the Super Bowl against the uh, Chargers. Yeah. Yeah, he's on me. He tell him what you said to me. All right. <laughs> We had a little discussion about something, something that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. So he on his way out the door. Him, Ken Norton Jr., Ricky Jackson, some monsters. You know, I ain't got none of my dogs with me. So I yell at him. I say, Tony Martin going deep. I think Tony Martin might have hated I ever said that to Dion. I love his man to death from the first time I saw him because he don't know I grew up watching him race and Smith from my high school. So I've been a Deion Sanders fan since I was 12 years old. So, so we all here for the man. Let's go ride it. Like, Let's go ride for him. That's what I'm talking about, Coach Sal. At the end of the day, dog, dog, and this for all of you. This for everybody out there listening in. For all of y'all. Just like they say on the movie back in the day. Um, what is, What's the name of that movie? Deuce here. Uh, South Central. It's for all of y'all. We all from Africa. You you are. You, you African booty scratch. All that stuff. This for all of y'all. I ain't from Africa. I'm from Crenshaw Mafia. This for all of y'all. Listen in, man. All of us grew up, it seemed like, as Deion Sanders fans. So all of us should be at some point having in us to say, dog, we about to ride for Coach Prime. 
We about to ride for him right now, dog. This should be a rallying cry. To find a way to get behind this man, send your kids there, find the best athletes for him, become an independent recruiter for him, buy some merch, uh, uh, support the YouTube channels, watch the game, uh, be positive. If you could do something to help out, do something to help out because it's time, dog. It's time to ride with Coach Prime, dog. Put an R Dub CP up in this thing, man. OG Bobby Johnson. Put an R Dub CP up in this thing if you're going to ride with Coach Prime, like I've been trying to tell y'all, dog. Coach Sap just broke it down to you right there. I just want you guys to get your mind right so you know what's important in uh, front of you. Uh, I know all of y'all don't do that, but we're going to run all this weed out. Should- Lord, Coach Prime, no, he, boy, you talking about, y'all got to, hey, man, this is a real coach right here, dog. First, you got to be a real, you know what, to be a real coach. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Coach Mo, shout out to Coach Mo who went to Brazil. I want you guys to get your mind right so you know what's going on. You said 108 gases? If y'all don't know, gases are are sprints. Uh, I know all y'all don't do that, but we're going to run all this weed out you and all the alcohol out you. We're going to run all this weed out you and all this alcohol out you. I know all y'all don't do that, but we're going to run all this weed out you and all this alcohol out you. All the women at you, we're going to run everything at you. We're going to get it back right because we got to recalibrate. Some of you guys are here, but you're not here. Recalibrate. Some of you guys are here, but you're not here. You understand? Okay, your mind's still on vacation. Your mind's still with her. Your mind's still um, at the crib. Your mind's still with the home. we got to get you back right. Because we had three great days of practice. God, we had three great days of practice. And we improved. We got better, you guys. This is an OG call. Yeah. Look, united, look closer together, and the expectation is through the roof. So we're gonna keep up that, but we gotta recalibrate. We gotta get it back right. We gotta get it together, and we gotta go hard and hard. And hard. Anybody ride on the break? Y'all need stuff now. Y'all need stuff. Oh, y'all need stuff. Y'all need stuff. <laughs> If y'all run over break, uh, somebody, if y'all ran, y'all would have said me, half of them said. <laughs> Same thing I would have done, bro. <laughs> I ran to the airport. I ran behind this shouty. It's through the roof. It's Look, yeah, that's Travis right there in the middle. Shout out to Travis, Jimmy Horn Jr. over there. Dylan Edwards. Dylan came out here to Hawaii, I think, to Maui. Shouts out to him. So, we're going to keep up that, but we got to recalibrate. We got to get it back right. We got to get it together. We got- calibrate, guys. Just got to get back focused. Get your get your bearings back. You know what I mean? Get the comes back. Going straight where it's supposed to be. Pointing the right direction. Got to go hard and hard. hard. Anybody ride on the break? Better raise your hand. That's one of them. Look, Amada. Amada ain't raising. Amada <laughs> said, I'm not going to lie. Amada said, I'm not going to lie. Y'all need to stop lying. I could have sworn Coach Brian said, y'all need to stop lying. He said, y'all need to stop lying. But look at Mata. Mata like, man, I'm not going to raise my hand knowing y'all lying. You know, not me. Oh, y'all need to stop. <laughs> oh, you're lying. Oh, the lambs are there, right? Oh, the lambs are there? Oh, wait to see. <laughs> we going to see. All right, let's have a great one. Let's have a great one. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Listen, Prime, Coach Prime and Travis Hunter talk about fishing. Shouts out to them, man. Love some fishing, boy. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to my dogs right there, Coach Riz and Coach Cheney. Oh, now Florida in the building. Three Florida boys in this thing, baby. Florida in the building. Y'all already know how it is in the FLA. You know what I'm saying? From the top to the bottom to the middle to the panhandle and all. Coach Riz. We're going to come back with another show. Uh, should be Wednesday. We got Buffum updates, myself and Adam tomorrow. Also got a young superstar interview. Coming up with Tanoa Kawi out here in Hawaii. And also we have the 
uh, quarterback, young quarterback that Colorado offered, Jared uh, Kuave. We're going to have him later on in the week or either the first or next week, depending on when I drop it. Uh, throw in left hand quarterback, six foot three. And then after that, we got big AJ coming in from Damian High School uh, for a uh, interview. So we're going to start doing a lot of interviews with some of these young athletes also. So check that out. Y'all got some requests. Send them in. Holler at me. And uh, let's go. Mistake <laughs> hit you about mistake, matter of fact. <laughs> they pull hard. That's probably me. Uh-uh. They pull hard. They didn't catch you nothing. Uh, Jack, I don't even know what a, a fish family that Jack is in. Uh, they, kind of, they, they built for speed. They ain't, they ain't no easy calling down the middle. No, I'm saying Jack, Jack is just Jack is for recreation. You yeah. can't use that. Oh, it's probably full of bones. Full of bones. Grandma to bed and grandma, 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 Let's get on this field, baby. Get these honeys in. Get these gases in. See if everybody's going to be in shape. Uh, this right here, get some of that. Like he said, get that smoke about you, that drink about you. This, that, you know, find out what you, where you've been at this offseason or this uh, this spring break. <laughs> Uh, late, late. <laughs> Davion, like Le'Veon, the baby Baron Ram, the road warrior from Chicago, Illinois, the one and only 3 6 Mafia, Savion Wilkerson. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's get it in. I ain't going to lie. This part is my least favorite part of coming back from spring. You know, just the, these conditioning because they're trying to break you right now. Like you said, we're trying to get it about you. We know some of you have been undisciplined. We're trying to get it about you. That's why you say a lot of times, hey, I just stay there over spring break. But I didn't have no money. These guys got money to travel everywhere. Well, I can't really say where I, where I stay or not. Travels in Mexico. Oh, no. Nah. But I ain't my cup of tea, bro. What you play video games all night? What you gonna have in the studio? Hey, you tonight. Bro, I gotta, you hopping on the zone? Yeah. You gonna hop in the studio? No, bro. That ain't my cup of tea, bro. What you play video games all night? What you gonna have in the studio? I can't hop in the studio. Well, you, can you twerk for the music video? Yeah, Onyx is a strip club. Definitely. <laughs> coach South needs to be, needs to coach at Alabama State. What? Why? Why would he go there? After Coach? Okay. We need Coach Prime at ASU. Y'all, hey man, y'all got a uh, stiff arm at ASU. Eddie Robinson, shout out to Coach Robinson. I all the range is pretty good. <laughs> Man, so look, we already know the sound. Make sure you lock into it. It's gonna be skill up first. Skill will be up first. You got 16 seconds. 16 seconds. It's only gonna be about a four second for that second group go. All right, so everybody good on that. All right, so look. Once we get done with our ten, once we get done with our ten, and we get back here, all right. Make sure you get back staggered. All right, we'll break it down. Buzz on two, buzz on two, or whatever I say. Ready to break down. Everybody bend. All right. Then we run out the field. All right. Then we have our half time from there. All right. If we don't break down, if we don't run out the field, we'll bring it back out and just line it back up and keep the shit rolling. Everybody good. Yes, and now this shit out. Be perfect in everything you do. Buzz on two, buzz on two, one, two. Buzz. There you go. Ah. Coach Mo, baby, should be fully energized coming from Brazil, dog. I feel you, Coach Mo. Oh, now. Say, ready to break. That's out of my dog, Israel Solomon. Right now. Pop Zuri Solomon. Let's go, baby.
Everybody bid, all right? Then we run off the field, all right? Then we'll have our halftime from there, all right? If we don't break down, if we don't run off the field, we'll bring it back out and just line it back up and keep the shit rolling. Everybody good? Yes, and now this shit out, be perfect in everything you do. Muscle two, muscle two, one, two, four. There you go. Ah. Jason Phillips getting some running in. It's always good to see your coaches out there running with you, too. Look like the whole squad is there, baby. Let me see what they say. If you don't run cross country season, you will be hurting coming back. If you don't run during cross country, right. Coach South need to be at Alabama State. Thought y'all was in love with Eddie Robinson. Right. I thought you going to talk about y'all need Coach Prime. No, you don't. <laughs> I believe it may be the first time since I've been a college head coach. We can even go back to high school. Let me see what he's going to say right here. What y'all think he's going to say? This is what he said. The first time since he's been a coach. I've been a college head coach. Hmm. We can even go back to high school. When you give the even go back to high school. When you give the young, when you give the young men what? Let me see. They all came back on time. Okay. So Kamani McLean is there, but he's not practicing. I don't even see him on the field. We'll see. I'll try to find him for you. Y'all know y'all be looking. Boy, I'll try to find him for you. Everyone on time. Okay. I know some of y'all seen it too, so I appreciate y'all checking in. And watching it with me. Young men break a week for spring break. And every last one of them come back on time. I love it. Everybody came back on time. That's showing that dedication and excitement and maturity to understand how to plan your stuff and get back on time, baby. I love it. You got guys that can't go down the road and get back on time, dog. Not late, no call and saying I missed the flight. First time up. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Got it. Nobody ain't passed that yet. But Phil's on his way, though. <laughs> Everybody, they're working. I just got off the reading the hospital. I just got off the lift because I can't let them work. I'm, I'm not working. I love it. I love the atmosphere. I love the flow. I love the attention to detail. I love the moment and the desire. I love it. The crazy thing is, it's still going to be some moves made after the spring game. Touch and go. Unfortunately, it's some. Constantly trying to improve, dog. Out of the way. Out of the way. Get hurt. Get hurt. Get hurt. Hold. Hold. Finish, 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 finish. We'll finish, 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 you can't be the smallest and last every play, man. I love Coach Dancy, dog. I love Coach Dancy, man. Just look what he said right here. Man, what are you doing, dog? You can't be the smallest in the last one every play. And that's so real. That ain't even sugarcoat nothing. That ain't saying that wrong to the kid. That ain't making the kid feel bad. That's not. That, that's just giving it to him straight shooter. Straight shot. No chaser. And I'm not trying to hurt you. But I'm telling you the truth, dog. Listen, you can't be the smallest one and be the last one every time. What the hell are you doing? And no matter who it is, 
That's positionless right there. That's in anything in athletics. If you're doing running, you cannot be the smallest one and be the last one. Really, no time. But every time, come on, dog. That ain't going to work. Let's go. I love code dancing. You can't be the smallest and last every play, man. It's got to be five. Dog, I love it. I, I really miss being around this many individuals and just hearing the straight, the straight shooting of, of of some guys. Man, I love it. Coach, I'm finna play with y'all, man. Let's go, Big Brantley. Get up, dog. Stand up. I love the hands off your hip thing. Get your hands off your hip, dog. Stand up. Stand tall. Look good. Send your ass in. You feel me? <laughs> Let's go. Come on, stand tall. Get off the fucking line. Here we go. Load it up. I see you, TV. So yeah, what's the day? Sunday. So they practice Sunday. Or got some running in Sunday, probably be off tomorrow. I'm not sure. I don't know the schedule right now. I don't have the schedule. I didn't look for the schedule. I didn't ask for the schedule, but I'm sure I can get the schedule if I just go ahead and dig for it right quick, like. But until then, I'm sure somebody out there already dug for it. Let me know in the comments. I think they're off tomorrow, but then Tuesday through through Friday, maybe or through Saturday, it's going down. Coach Brian love Coach Dancing. You cannot not respect the love of a coach like Coach Dancing, man. I ain't got time for no game plan. You know, yeah, they played with me with the dancing fade and stuff. But, you know, at the end of the day, though, I'm no nonsense coach. You know what I'm saying? Former player. Had an opportunity to be a head coach at Mississippi Valley State. Mess around Coach Prime. Took a liking to me like he does many people and changed my life. Now I'm coaching uh, position coach on a D1 level, Power 5 level that can win a national championship with the man you see in the place to be, Deion Sanders. Come on, dog. I'm gonna keep being me. I'm gonna be straight, be a straight shooter, dog. You know what I'm saying? Look, go dance. Stay tall, stay tall, stay tall. Stand tall. Stand look good. Hands off, hands off, hands off. Yeah, I did see Coach Prime truck. That thing like a transformer truck, don't it? Tonka truck. Stay up, big dog. But I say this now, though, and we probably saying this now as adults and understanding, you know, what to do and what's coming next. But as a young kid, you like, man, this is spring break. I'm going to get the hell up out of here. You know, I can run all day anyway. I'm in shape. You know, they can't break me when I get back. You don't realize how, how much those three, four days, five, six days, whatever, really weigh on you until they bring you back and you run 100 gassers just to get back in shape, get your legs back up on you, have meetings tomorrow, and then we're going in starting Tuesday. Get your mind right. But as a grown man now, I say to look great when the time come like this, you got to sacrifice those 
trips and those spring breaks or whatever it is you might do other than running or staying in tip-top condition. And some people do it, some people don't. Some people have to do it, some people don't have to do it. You know what I'm saying? But for anybody out there that might be gasping for air or hard hard to make their time, then and, and, and you're not uh, a top NIL person that could be just traveling like it's nothing, then you should have been staying here and, and, and being in shape, dog. You got a position to fight for, you know. You you can be. This could be your the difference in you becoming a starter and not becoming a starter, being on the field and not being on the field, getting your mama a house and not getting your mama a house. Well, Chico is not that simple. Yes, it is that simple. Just that simple, right there. The easiest thing. Let's go, Coach T. Stand tall. Hey, Tristan. Tristan. One more, brother. One more. And that's definitely not down to anybody's decision, whoever made the decision to leave. That's on that's on each person. I'm talking about, you know, me, I probably would have made the decision to leave too, especially with some money in my pocket. But what I'm saying is, as a grown man, you think back and you say, you know what? Man, I'm just gonna stay here. You know what is what is a week? You know what what I'm just gonna stay here, and that's what I'm saying. As a grown man, you say that, and anybody who's running and not making time or who's tired right now, I'm sure they're thinking, "Damn, I could have just stayed here," you know, or whatever. But you know, we live in your life. That's where you miss. I don't know. Oh, and then it's not snapping the hand down. That's all look good. I know y'all had some running songs y'all used to run with some y'all former athletes. We used to stay. We used to say, "Standing tall and looking good." We ought to be in Hollywood. Standing tall and looking good. So we have two. We are to be in Hollywood. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Hey, make sure we snap it down. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go. Oh. Why would you do that to your body? <laughs> a prime example of what I mean by it depends on who you are. A guy like Travis, man, go do what you want to do, dog. Because that boy run like the Energizer Bunny. That boy run like a refrigerator. Remember back in the day, you used to call somebody and say, hey, is your refrigerator running? And they'll say, yeah. And you say, well, you better go catch it. And hang on the phone, click. <laughs> but yeah, that boy run like a refrigerator. That's all day and night running. Isn't your refrigerator running right now? That's Travis Hunter. The refrigerator. Because <laughs> he's still running. Everybody behind him like, damn, he running, laughing, jogging, ju whatever. Sheesh, I'm tired. <laughs> Easy work. Can't stop, won't stop. Bad boy, take that. Take oh Lord. Can't stop, won't stop. Bad boy, take that. Shout out to P. Diddy, man. Hopefully all everything all good. You know what I mean? Travis never stops. Big dog days to come. Oh now. Jermaine Young laughing. Coach said he running the weed, drink, and women out of them. He ain't lying. Straight up. That's what happened when you come from spring break, dog. We're going to see what y'all been doing. You hear me? Just a little work. A little shape bite. Like old Miller. <laughs> easy work. It's easy work, but this shit bite. <laughs> easy work, but it's bite. Easy. First work at the same time. Right? It's bite. It's bite. Right? Oh, that's what you don't want to hear right there. 
Or you don't want to hear that whistle blow and then that whistle blow like that to stop you or bring you back. That's the hardest thing when running like this and you're tired is to start is to start and then stop. Like, damn, I don't need that dog. That's you, huh? That's you, huh? Hey, huh? What, what's taking so long? Let's go. I'm giving y'all. Line it up. That's it. Come on, take it up. That's what it sounds like in the south when it's, it's raining right there on the roof. Some thunderstorms in the south. Man, I miss them hard rains in the south. I miss them hard rains in the south at about 4.30 and the sun going down. And, and it's just raining cats and dogs out that thing. I'm somebody raining hard. What? Your grandma got them tin sheds. The rain is loud. <laughs> it's like a band outside. The tin roof. Yeah. And hard, you better stay on your feet, dog. Unless you're just playing it. Isaiah Hodge. Oh, now Cookie, Sam's take up in here. Atlanta stay focused and informed for Sugar D. Tremaine Young. Chico will be raining all next week here in Dallas. Oh, man. Take it in. Dylan is the third down back. I don't know. Raining cats and dogs. Chico, straight up. I don't know when the last time it rained like that out here in Hawaii. I, probably not like that. We haven't had the rain and the thunderstorms and the just downpouring tsunami type. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> Miller the Jones cut his hair off. Oh, not Jaden Miller the Jones. Let's go. We ain't done. We ain't done. We ain't done. Today, they get right, they man. Don't let me forget to tell y'all at the end. Oh, I got to find Kamoni for y'all, too. I just said everybody back, so why why y'all tripping? Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Look at Jordan on the Vogue right there, the wide receiver next to Coach Prime in the white shirt. That boy big right there, boy, for, for a young wide receiver, a freshman. Sophomore wide receiver. Shout out to Big Ben Finisef, um, Carter Stockmire, Trevor Woods, Jeremiah Brown, so on. Jace Feely. No, no, ain't nothing wrong with your ankle. No, the darn thing. No, the darn thing wrong with your ankle. Get up. 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 Get High school, as well as college, that we've had everyone back on time. Nobody late unless you Also, when I say three-headed monster in the backfield, Savion Wilkerson, Dylan Edwards, and um, Alton McCaskill, I'm not forgetting about the young freshman, Michael Welch. You feel me? I'm not forgetting about that guy because he can come in and make a statement immediately. I just think that the three guys ahead of him are just, are just primed. <laughs> primed and ready for uh breakout seasons whoever starts and whoever backs up and whoever spells y'all lying to me i find out the problem nobody late nobody tardy nobody make the phone call tell me that they missed the flight they'll be tardy everybody's back 100 is that true everybody yes, sir. is that true everybody back yes, sir. all your teams back i love it absolutely love it now tomorrow what's the schedule tomorrow coaches so that's mandatory, huh? That's mandatory. If you miss that, your whole group, you know, your group, you make sure you pick. Give up, give up, give up. Your whole group has, uh, has work if you're late. Is everybody be on time this whole I see. Okay. Whole group has to work if you're late. So everybody going to keep each other accountable. I like that, Coach Prime. And I see y'all in the comments saying something about, uh, about Welch, but not Wilkerson. And I'm glad I mentioned that. That's my top three right there. It's going to be in the running back position. 
in the running back room. You're going to have Alto, you're going to have Savion, and you're going to have Dylan. Welch, if he can just be super outstanding, you know, you will bring him in. But ideally, you would want Welch to just keep working, learn, and red shirt. Charlie can possibly be that third or fourth back. If Welch wants wants to play, he can play some special teams. If somebody get hurt, hurt you can fill him in. But I think you got a bail cow in Alton McCaskill. You got a bail cow type in Savion Wilkerson. And you got a starter type who can, you know, be a first, second down, all the way to a third down back. But you got so many backs back there that, you know, Dylan can start and then Alto can come in and then Wilkerson, come, you know, however they want to rotate that thing. You got three, a three-headed monster with those guys. Let me know in the comments what y'all think, though, because I said Wilkerson too slow. What are y'all looking at? No, Tremaine, I, I got to agree with you. I, I got to disagree with you on that. Savion, Wilkerson is Savion. Welch will start on special teams. That is big. Uh, I, I Like I said, ideally, I would want him to red shirt, but he's just such a compact and put-together young guy. He can play uh, right now in any, pretty much any other offensive scene, like in the league, who's not three deep, like so Colorado. It's mandatory. Oh. It's mandatory. If you miss that, the whole group, you know, the group, you're making you pick. Give him up. Give him up. Give him up. The whole group has, uh, has worked. If you're late, as everybody be on time, let's hold each other accountable. Let's hold each other accountable. Let's hold each other accountable. I'm proud of y'all, man. God darn it, I'm proud of y'all. Way to fight through it. Way to fight through Your leaders, way to lead. Uh, the rest of y'all, way to fall. That's who you are. But way to go. Way to get it done. Some of y'all was fight through it, but you fought through it. OCDC. Talk to him, baby. OCDC, talk to him, baby. Yeah, here we go. Hey, let's talk about it. Expense of the week, right? Leaders got to lead from the front, right? We're at a point in spring. We're at a point where we're building this thing. The leaders got to pull everybody else and say, hey, this is our year. This leaders got to lead from the front, dog. And that's 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 huge. Leaders got to lead from the front, just my opinion. I think Smoke ran, ran a 4-5, 40, or 4-4. Four, four. I know I think might have ran a four or five three in the 40. Wilkinson is a dog. Tremaine, I mean, is a dog. Uh, when Welch show out on special teams, that's what get him on the field sooner. Uh, I think it would have to be an injury or somebody not performing, but which I think those three guys will perform once given the opportunity. Dylan Edwards, Savion Wilkinson, and Alto McCaskill. Special backs, all three of them, in my opinion. This is our way, right? That starts on Tuesday. Let's have a great week. Let's take care of each other. Let's practice smart. Let's fly around. As you guys know, when we're building a culture, we're building the strength as a team. April is a huge month, right? We've got four weeks of practice. Coach Pat Shermer, y'all, y'all check out his resume if you don't know. It's left, right? So that we set the foundation for what's going to be a championship season. And it starts, really starts tomorrow with the meetings, right? So let's make sure we have a great April starting with tomorrow, which is the first. All right. All right, let's win. Here we go. Run 6-7. Who you talk? Are you talking about Michael Welch run? And run ran or ran. Ran 6-7. You know Mike? You know Welch? Wilkinson was a dog at JSU. I just don't understand why he wouldn't be a dog at CU. Uh hey, it, hey. You just can't automatically be one, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta, especially at running back, you gotta have some offensive line open up holes for you, dog. You know, just not going to run through them like wet paper bags. I was not impressed by Wilkerson. I think Coach Prime is banking on Dylan. Dylan reminds me of Willis McGahee. Uh, can take it the distance any play. I think he's faster than Willis McGahee, but I love Willis McGahee. Shout to Willis McGahee, the legend. Oh. <laughs> one, two, one, two. All right, we're going to check this out real quick. Shout out to uh, the pregame show. I'm not going to leave you yet. But we're going to check out the pregame shows, uh, Coach Sapp. I think he dropped one, too. Let me see. Since y'all are here. If y'all in here right now, if you've been here this long, y'all make sure y'all hit, hit the like, subscribe, comment, all the other good stuff. Away from Texas. Yes, sir. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment for your boy. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment right now. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified the next time I go live. All right. Exclusive footage from Uncle Neely and D pregame show the guy walking in. So is it, man? Back. So, welcome back. Lil. We ride with Coach Prime. Back again. We started up tomorrow with Lil. 
We just got here a few hours ago. Joshua Tree, you too. Chris, <laughs> come on now. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do is work out. <laughs> That's about Marley in that thing. I hear you, baby. Your break, Flo man. Soldier used to be my favorite song when I used to travel on the road game back in the day. Good. Chill with that, JB. Good. survival. Break, JB. It was great. Spent some time with the fam. Yes, sir. And got some fishing in. I know you fished. I know you fished. Back. How was your break? It was great. Just stayed here in Boulder. White lady, it's a beautiful place. You know, but by the time you go home, exactly. <laughs> it's too. I'm gonna have to go all the way to Australia. Costly and too long of a flight to go home, unfortunately, for a week. That's all right. Well, well I have one thing to say to that. Crikey! Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi! What's up? Ben, how was the break, man? man? It was good. I stayed out here, man. Just put it in. That's right. It worked. Some people decided to stay. They understand, you know. Some people, you know, the pregame show. How was that break, man? Uh, pleasant. Happy to be back. Shout out to the pregame show. Y'all check that out. Uncle Neely and staff and so on. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all listen to the B.I.W. D.O.W. Chico to the team, the place to be coming to you live and in effect, back and forth, internationally and nationally known. Y'all make sure I hit the microphone, <laughs> hit the like button one time. Hit the like and subscribe button one time. Like Dylan Harris is growing too. Shout out to Dill. Look at big Aunt Quinn Barnes just walked up in that thing. Shout out to B Gant right there. Watch some film right here. I like that. I used to love when my, my coach used to put on pro NFL uh, or pro football film. I used to love that. Go Jason Phillips, a, a college great. Right there. They, should, they playing the Browns in the uh, 49ers back there. I like that. Show some footage, baby. Show some footage. Let's get it. Rhyme with Coach Prime. Rhyme with Coach Prime. Get your mind right. Rhyme with Coach Prime. Rhyme with Coach Prime. Big low with hope. Look at Big Sap. They played against each other right there. Look at these big fellas right here, baby. Boy, you got some NFL guys in here. You talking about some battles it's going to be in the trenches this year? Oh, Lord. He don't want to get outdid by him. He don't want to get outdid by him. But in a respectful way. Big Sap, baby. Big Phil, baby. Big, Big Phil's got that go cool, dog. You feel me? Big feel so cool. Let me see what y'all said in the chat right now. Let's run these likes up, man. Let's get 100 likes one time. Let's get 100 likes. Jermaine Young said that offense last year did not fit Dylan's strength. Uh, okay. Running straight up the middle, was it saying? Okay. I like that. No, I don't know. I just saw some highlights on them and did a little research on him. I like that. Okay. I appreciate that, Rand. Rand 6 seven. Excited to see Sap. Me too. I think he's going to have a good time with all those weapons this season. What do you think, Chico? What do you think, Tremaine and Chico? Ran 67. Yes, I think um, if you're talking about Shador, yeah, he's going to light it up across the board this year, dog. I love it. Chico, the 2025 recruits is looking good for CU, definitely. I got some guys I'm going to interview for you guys, for you all too, so y'all can check them out and get to know them. Wilkinson was effective last season with what little playing time he had behind Mia got some eyes on her. She, 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 Mia know what she's looking at. I saw two taking snaps under center with Walker. Never saw that last year. What do you mean? Oh, under, under center, under center. Okay. Now I think he had some. Boy is ready. Oh, now nah. new energy, new energy up in here, baby. Let's go. Big Sapper. Big field. I like he'll hold that cup like he was one of the ones in, in the club, just big chilling in the back. He ain't saying too much. He's just a big fella in the back of the club, chilling, got his cup, got his drink. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't messing with nobody. I'm just I'm just chilling back here, dog. Don't come back here and mess with me now. You come back here and mess with me. I might have to knock one out, but I'm just chilling for the most part. You feel me? Big Sap is a trouble star. Look at him. He's, he's... 
Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> Boy, that attitude is what's needed up there, dog. Other than just Coach Prime, it's other attitude and, and just that, what is that, bravado-ness, testosterone that's just needed. Football-type testosterone that's needed around there, dog. Y'all don't understand it. Look at Big Hagerman over there, man. These are football players. Playing coaches right here, and everybody that could get on here, just like the guy that got on here and criticized Coach Prime last week, talking about Coach Prime wasn't qualified to be a coach. Boy, you're dumb as a sack of rocks. How in the world can you say he's not qualified to be? Well, who is then? Somebody who didn't play the game and just watched it forever? Oh, so they qualified to be a coach? Oh, no, nah, because they coach for. Well, how did they start coaching? They had to start somewhere, and if you can start with a gold jacket of experience. Man, come on. Sap brings that energy for real. I'm telling you, that energy is what's needed. Watch now. It's going to translate. We'll meet everybody, big dog. Let's go, baby. I need to see your eyes. I need to see your eyes, big dog. Look at big J.J. Hawkins. Victory Johnson. Coach Hart. Get him right, baby. Y'all don't know that one? Y'all don't know that one? Well, that's the one. That's one of my grand. Gotta relate to your players, baby. Know who they are. <laughs> they change it up. It'd be like 50 instruments coming out of folks' voices as they sing these songs. Like, I ain't got any one of those. Bro. I ain't been to a church. Yeah. Bible, man. I'm telling you, man. Change your life. That's that's. <laughs> Uplifting. Do more than uplift you. Raise you from the dead. Like Lazarus. Two other special guys that's going to take this. Uh, Aggressive and competitive. Take out their, their speech one more time. Over the hump. I mean, over, over, above, and beyond. Um, Big George, go give us a couple words, George. Tell them what you're doing and why you're here. Uh, so, guys, I'm, I am fortunate enough to be able to serve you as your new director of leadership and engagement. There's three things I want y'all to know. Everybody say this with me. Say everything. Everything. No, no, say it like you honestly mean. Say everything. Everything. Impacts. Impacts. Man, LT, what? He told JJ we look the same age. That's Sap right there. Sap going to say so crazy. We love to see Colorado run that Tampa 2 defense. You got to have a linebacker that's going to drop like like that, uh, like that Derek Brooks and them know. Can you imagine a trash out between? That, that's what we want, though. That's what you want, that O-line coach and that D-line coach to go at it, just like that DB coach and that wide receiver coach naturally seem to go at it. The tight ends coach and the outside linebackers coach go at it. That competition, dog. Yes, this guy here is a former IMG coach, so he's been working with them guys for the longest. I appreciate the 100 likes. We got the 100 likes. That's what I'm talking about. Run them likes up one time. The IMG pipeline is going to be Cirrus. You know, and if we can get a pipeline like that up there to where these guys are not going to just come in and try to transfer, you feel me? It's going to be lovely, a lovely day. And Coach Prime got a mission to complete before he try to go anywhere else to the league or whatever y'all think he might go to. He got a mission to complete, dog. He, he's assembling the staff, the staff right now. And then next year, when Shadour leaves, Travis leaves, he's looking to bring in, if he not already have on the staff or on the roster, Uber athlete like Travis and a highly touted quarterback and productive quarterback like Shador Sanders. Everything. Everything. Now let's say it like we honestly believe it because it's true. Everything. Everything. Impacts. Impacts. Everything. Everything. So from here on out, that's how we're going to operate. We want to operate from a mental standpoint, understanding that everything impacts everything. So everybody got that? Yes, sir. I'm looking forward to meeting with each and every last one of you. My office is on the fourth floor. Thank you for having me. Office is on the fourth floor. Big fella. I hate to be above or below where his office is. You know what I'm saying? That's a big fella. It might give ground, dog. You know what I'm talking about? Big Hagerman coming through, baby. <laughs> he was the biggest guy drafted uh, in his draft class. Take it from him. Just 
but we got a wonderful support staff for you. You got to utilize it. There's no reason for you guys to go off the deep end when you got all this support. Uh, another guy, I don't know if you know him or not, but he's all right. You know, we played. He is all right. Support. Well, he got a gold jacket. He's back. Talk so much junk. Matter of fact, I met the Joker talking junk to me. That's how we met talking junk to me. I ain't going to tell you what we met at, but <laughs> he can tell you that. Come on up and be up. So, he lied, man. I like how Coach Prime keep it real. Sometimes you be like, damn, Coach Prime don't say that. But at the end of the day, you're like, no, what are we hiding, dog? These kids got access to everything, any and everything, dog. There ain't nothing to hide from. It might as well be real with them, dog, and let them know the real. Yeah, we met at a gentleman's club. <laughs> I was playing. I came out. Yeah, I'm grown, dog. That's what we do. And, and you do grown things. And that's what we met at. And I'm not here to sugarcoat or hide anything from the kids. When it's real life. Thing is, quality control analysts is a mouthful, and you'll hear me before you see me most of the time. But what we're gonna do is, big fellas, stay in saliva and assignment. That's what we're gonna start. We're gonna poke concrete because you know I like nice stuff, and we build mansions here, though. That's why I'm here to help you build your mansion and build a mansions here. I appreciate anybody who joined the channel. Make sure y'all hit the join button one time. Uh, hit the subscribe button for your boy. Hit the notification bell. And if you got any comments that you want to make sure I get to, y'all hit the super chat. One time. Anybody hit the super chat today? I got to hit the super chat today. All right. Foundation, anything you need, come see me. I'm in 416. <laughs> 416. What we met at? Say again? You know the address. Five dollars a walk. That's all you said. <laughs> he, he was a cop. Five dollars a walk. I was leaving. I was leaving the University of Miami. He was there for the Super Bowl against the uh, Chargers. Yeah. Natron means. You know what you said. All right. Natron means. <laughs> That's how the Natron means back in the day. We had a little discussion about something, something that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. So he on his way out the door. Him, Ken Norton Jr., Ricky Jackson. Some monsters now, you know. I ain't got none of my dogs with me, so I yell at him. I say, Tony Martin going deep. I think Tony Martin might have hated I ever said that to DR. I think he choked him for four quarters during that Super Bowl. <laughs> it was a bad night for Tony Martin, but I love this man to death from the first time I saw him because he don't know I grew up watching him race Sammy Smith from my high school. So I've been a Deion Sanders fan since I was 12 years old, fellas. So we all and like I told y'all, this is motivation right here. We all been Deion Sanders since we was little kids. But let's wait say next. Oh, here for the man. Let's go ride in championship time. How about that? Go ride in championship time. How about that? Let's go ride for Coach Prime, dog. Put an R Dub CP once again in the chat if you ride with Coach Prime. Yeah. That's what he say he's here for, dog. No other reason. You ride with Prime. You ride with Coach Prime. You feel what I'm saying? This is the B.I. Dub, the D.O. Dub, Chico to the C in the place to be. I appreciate y'all joining in. Yes, great motivation. Y'all make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and join button and support the channel. Y'all already know what I'm doing, man, trying to do this thing live and in effect, back and direct. We're going to turn up for real this spring and this season as more to come from the channel right here, the B.I. Dub, the D.O. Dub, Chico to the C in the place to be. Y'all tune in, tune out. Y'all know what to do. Hit the like, subscribe, comment, all the other good stuff. I'm going to be up and about the same piece in the Middle East. Yeah, y'all. Thank you.